Welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to study Antony and William Petrov, which is a tragic play written by William Shakespeare. It is first performed in 1606 by King's Main at the Globe Theatre or Dark Virus Theatre. It is also a problem play and follows Julius Caesar. It is first published in 1623 during the period of Renaissance. The play is set in at Egypt and Rome around 31 BC. Now let's see the characters. First, Antony. He is one of the Timurids, the Roman emperor, lover of pleasure and single major. As a ruler, he neglects his duties and wants to live in Egypt and has an affair with Cleopatra, who is the queen of Egypt. Octavius Caesar is a nephew and adopted son of Julius Caesar. He rules the Roman Empire with Antony. He is not malicious but wants to be the first Roman emperor and later changed his name as Caesar Augustus and he symbolizes Emilius Lepidus, he is the third member of the Timurate. He is weak both politically and personally, but makes peace between Caesar and Antony whenever they fight. Cleopatra, she is the daughter of King Ptolemy XII. She is the last queen of the dynasty. In 51 BC, he married her two brothers, who is 10 years and 8 years. She married at the age of 16, but members of Egypt made conspiracy and sent her away to Rome. She met Julius Caesar, the ruler of Greek and Astrid, but her beauty mesmerized him to fall in love with her. There is a fight between Ptolemy and Caesar. Caesar won the battle by killing her brothers. He made her to be the queen of Egypt. Both lived together and the goddess son, Caesarian. The first child which was born at Caesarian, the Caesarian is made by Caesar. Nowadays, we see in the hospital, the child was born in the hospital by Caesarian is called as Caesarian. Caesar went to Rome with Cleopatra, time was Caesar was killed by his friend Brutus Caesar. There is a fight between her heirs to catch on the throne. She was left alone. Then she fell in love with Antony and became one and only had to gain the throne. She begot twins, son in Alexander, for Antony. Augustus, heir of Caesar, who fought against Cleopatra for Egypt. In the war, Antony was killed. She couldn't live with him. She committed suicide by snake on her breast and body. She doesn't want to live without Antony. As everybody knows about Cleopatra that she was very wise, she knew astrology, she made Eve seven different small scent, she knew seven languages. She used to take bath in donkey's milk, she had sea pearls in vinegar for drinking, she had her own beer factory, 60% person percentage of income of Egypt is spent for her beauty and she died at the age of 39. Highly knowledgeable beauty is always dangerous. And let's see the other characters. In our verse, who is Antony's most loyal supporter, he always accompanies Antony at the end of the play, but later he did betrays Antony. Candidates, a general in Arby's army. Ventitus, a Roman soldier under army. Pompey, he is one of Julius Caesar's partners. He wants to capture Rome. Menos, an ambitious soldier under Pompey. Octavia, she is the sister of Caesar and she marries Antony and she is an emblem of good woman. Charon and Eros, Cleopatra's attendants, Seros, Cleopatra's treasurer, Delabella, she is one of Octavius Caesar's man who always guards Caesar, Cleopatra. Agrippa, she is one of 
Antonio Caesar's officer and God's slave to clown and Egyptian who brings a basket of pigs containing poisonous snakes. Mark Antony, the Roman emperor who lives in Egypt and is having an affair with Cleopatra. He hears the news that his wife will be last night and Pompey is going to raise an army. He returns to Rome saying that the great strain to us God. Caesar is mad at Antony for neglecting his job as he was off enjoying himself in Egypt. He gives power to Cleopatra. She wishes him small success. But his part remains for her. Cleopatra sends Alexos to report to Antony that she is sick if he is married and she is dead if he is sad. She becomes restless and shows no interest to do anything. Antony arouses in Rome and fights with Caesar. Lepidus makes peace between them. Antony agrees to marry Octavia, who is Caesar's sister. This marriage can make them more loyal to one another and stronger against Pompey. He now goes, Antony's friend tells Caesar that he will likely return to Cleopatra. Meanwhile, in Egypt, Cleopatra hears that Antony is getting married and becomes very furious. A messenger tells her that Octavia is not as beauty as her, and Cleopatra strongly believes that she can get back Antony soon. Pompey comes to meet the other rulers of Rome to make peace to him to attend the party at Pompey's palace. The four men drink to celebrate. One of Pompey's men tells him that there is a plan to kill the three, which would leave Pompey in charge of the entire empire. But Pompey doesn't have to do it. Caesar breaks the peace agreement and fights Pompey, defeating him. Antony returns by Titova begs him to have a good relationship with her brother. Antony sends him to Rome, saying that he wants to be with Cleopatra. He raises an army to fight Caesar. Caesar invades Egypt, and despite warnings, Antony and Cleopatra fight in at sea. Cleopatra's ship flees, and Antony follows. Antony and Cleopatra speak to Caesar. Antony asks to leave in Egypt, and Cleopatra asks that her kingdom be passed down to her rightful heir. Caesar doesn't want to listen to Antony, but agrees to listen to Cleopatra if she betrays Antony. She seems to betray, but Antony refuses her. Antony makes his troops against Caesar's men and defeats them. Cleopatra returns to Antony. They return to battle the next day. The Egyptians flee again Antony. And Antony believes Cleopatra has the train. He wants to kill him. To save her, Cleopatra locks herself in a room and sends a word that she has killed herself. Antony feels sad and overtaken by grief. Antony wants to join her in the afterlife. Antony asks one of his soldiers to kill him, but he doesn't like to do against his master. And then Antony falls on his sword and mortally wounds himself. He has them to take him to be able to trust one of it, where they can rewrite. The dying Antony advises Cleopatra to be safe and wants them against his season. Cleopatra kisses on his lips and he dies. She remarks that the goblin of war is dead. There is nothing left remarkable beneath the visiting room. She dies, she desires to die by herself. Caesar takes Cleopatra prisoner, but she learns of his plan to take her to Rome. She shouts that she would rather die in Egypt itself. She says, Antonis, his legs destroyed devotion. He swipes sweet like the music of shepherds. The rattling thunder to his enemies. 
His generosity grieved the more by reading, and his like the God. Precious herself as a bride and plans to commit suicide with the help of asps, which is poisonous name. She says, Oh husband, I can. She has them to allow the asps to bite her and she dies. Caesar comes and looks at the dead Cleopatra, saying that she sleeps as bride sleeps on her bed, and she would catch another Antony in a strong toil of grace. Caesar orders to bury the body of Cleopatra in the same place of Antony. Antony and Cleopatra are buried together. Caesar finally says that Cleopatra is so famous. Thank you.